Peter McKay seems to be plotting to replace Andrew Scheer. He's one of those baffling Canadian public figures. The mystery is, how does he dare go out in public after some of the things he's done? In 2003, he became the last leader of the progressive conservatives, who still existed, by publicly signing a solemn promise not to merge with the much farther right Canadian alliance. Within a year, he did it. No apology, no explanation, no shame. In 2005, his then-girlfriend, Belinda Stronick, also a conservative MP, crossed the floor to become a liberal minister. He'd been clueless. He reacted by using his dog as a prop to symbolize, he said, that at least dogs are loyal. Then, in an exchange with liberals in the House, he seemed to refer to her as your dog. He denied it, but listlessly. He's never been verbally agile. Last week, he went to Washington and said Andrew Scheer had missed a breakaway on an empty net. What I'm going to do is just ask you the question that everyone's thinking is, what exactly happened? Yeah, to use a good Canadian analogy, it was like having a breakaway on an open net and missing the net. <laughs> um, then denied criticizing Scheer. Suddenly, Scheer started looking better. He reminds me of someone, always anxious to lead but never quite up to it, constantly putting his foot in his mouth but doesn't learn from it. I know, aside from an age gap of some decades, he's the Joe Biden of the North. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.